Let's go ahead and lay down onto our mats now. You're going to clasp your hands and leave your thumbs open. So you're going to create a little clasp and then your thumbs are basically going to support your neck here like this. So have this little thumb position there to support the neck. Okay, so now knees are in 90 degrees here and we're going to begin by warming up the obliques. So we're going to take ourselves from side to side. I know it might feel a little funky, but feel this side waist coming together. So basically the top of the hip bone here, the ASIS and the ribs are coming together. So you squeeze and squeeze, squeeze and squeeze. Good, we're gonna do that 15, 14, 13, 12, 11. Yes, the head is trying to stay down on the ground. It might wanna come up, but it's better if you can keep it on the ground. Good, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Beautiful, all right, so that was our little warm up there. So now grab onto one knee. You're gonna keep this hip in flexion. You're going to lift up, extend the other leg. Beautiful. Now come up a little bit more, a little bit more. I know. Now you're going to pull the knee back in towards your chest so you can get even closer. Like you're trying to make a, uh, what are those sandwiches called? Panini, right? You're like bringing it close together like a panini sandwich. Nice. All right, take the hands back behind you right where they were before on the neck and you're going to twist around, reach the left arm up and lift. Good, we're gonna lift here 10 times. Now the whole point is to try to get this other side up off of the floor, okay? So try not to be down here. Both of the shoulder blades are off of the floor. Good, let's go for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Yes, they should be burning and firing up for sure. Okay, let's go to the other side. So begin first by lifting up. This is just so that you can understand where your body needs to be, right? Both shoulder blades are off of the ground. Nice, so remember we're gonna panini the thigh and the stomach together. Great, and now take the hands around, twist, lift that shoulder blade up off of the floor for 10, nine, eight, oh my gosh, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Oh my God. It's hard to breathe when you do these. Okay. Now let's come on up. Let's like take a breath. See, it's like taking a corset to your whole body, but make sure you're breathing so you don't pass out. Okay. So elbow's going to come down and you're going to come onto the biggest, big bony thing there. They're called the greater trochanter here. You want to be right there. So if it kind of hurts, I would suggest putting a blanket there so that you don't hurt yourself. The whole point is not to hurt yourself, but to strengthen the obliques. Great. So now you're going to take your legs like a mermaid tail and then have them pointing up like 30 degrees there like this. Good. Now, squeeze the inner thighs together, lift on up, make sure that you're not sinking here. We're not like at the beach completely. Lift on up, press down, and we're gonna just lower and lift for 10 and nine and eight. Now I'm sweating and seven, I think six and five, good. Four, three, two and one. Oh my goodness. Okay, let's go to the other side. You're doing so good. So make sure, so you start on the on a straight line and then just take those legs up 30 degrees. Or I guess I could turn around and face you guys, probably better. Okay, here we go. So lift on up for 10 and nine. Try not to let this shoulder wobble around anywhere. Keep it nice and sturdy and strong. And six, five, four, Oh boy, three, two, and one. Okay, great. Take a little breather right here. I know, this is it's a lot, but you're doing so good. Okay, so now we've got one more exercise to go, and we're going to come up into plank pose. So we're gonna take the knee across. The arms are super duper strong pillars stone pillars like this. And you're gonna take the leg across and you're going to lower down to the wrist and lift up five times. Here we go. And five and four, 
three and two and one. All the way up, nice job. Okay, let's go to the other side. So the trick with this is to really push the floor away when you are doing the lift. Let's go five on the other side. Here we go, and five. Try to keep the knee as close as possible to the arm. Four, three, two, one. <sighs> Take a little breather because we're gonna do all those all over again. Okay, so proud of you. Doing really good. So we're working a lot here. We're working the arms as well as you saw and you felt, I'm sure. You're working, of course, all of the other muscles, the transverse, the rectus, and we're even working these serratus muscles here that are still a part of the core that we always forget about. All right, let's lay on down, and we're gonna begin with our lifts here. So begin by lifting up first, reach out. So you wanna get as high as you possibly can. Take the hands behind, remember with the thumbs out, cross the knee over or cross the elbow over, nice. And now let's reach. Your goal is to get that scapula off the floor for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Oh my goodness. Breathe, get some breath into your body. Okay, let's lift on up. This is the best to prep here so that you can really get yourself up as high as possible so you can feel what it feels like to be up as opposed to down, right? You wanna get that feeling in your body. Clasp the hands around, thumbs are out, twist on over, reach the arm out, and let's go for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Oh my gosh. The higher you go, definitely the harder it is, the more you're gonna feel it. Okay, let's keep going. So place the elbow down, come onto that hip. You can start out by stacking everything and then take those legs just a little bit in front of you. All right, so now, here we go, hand behind the head. You've done this before, you know this. 10 and nine. I like to think of my legs as just a long mermaid tail. You're just flipping your tail up and down. Good, six and five. Stay stable in the right shoulder. Four and three, two and one. Beautiful, okay, let's go to the other side. So we're getting our torso, our obliques so, so, so strong. And this is going to help in all areas of your life. And it may not feel like it now, but this is actually going to help you breathe better later as well. Okay, here we go. And 10 and nine. Make sure you're not falling too much back here like this, right? You wanna stay on that big bone there. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, and two, and one. I know I got a little wobbly on that one, but okay, let's keep going. So now we've got our plank crisscross lifts. Let's come up. We're almost there. We've just got this last exercise to do. Reach out nice and long. Here we go. Twist it up and let's go for five. Up, four, up, three. Keep the knee as close as possible to the leg. Last one and switch sides. Okay, here we go, last exercise. You're so, so strong. You're doing amazing. Let's cross it up. And five, and four, and three, two, and one. Woo! Ah, you made it. Oh, I'm so proud of you. Great, great job. Make sure that you subscribe to my YouTube channel if you have not yet, because that helps me create all these free videos for you. Go check out all the other videos I have. And if you're looking for a comprehensive program at home body weight training and flexibility training program, then definitely download my Stretchy Fit app. You can start with seven days free 